on the Arctic Wolf side. Um, we're doing this in tandem with our, our partner KIS, uh, as you guys are, are all familiar with. And the title of today's session is Cybersecurity as an Effectiveness Problem. So we're going to talk about some trends in the industry, um, some threats that, that, are, that are new, um, the market moving to manage services as a whole. And then we're going to talk about our core capabilities here at Arctic Wolf and why people are choosing us as their MDR vendor. Um, I'll let um, Josh quickly introduce himself as well, my engineering counterpart. Josh, you can say, say hey. Yep, Josh Holman. I'm a sales engineer here at Arctic Wolf. Come from a background in enterprise data, working for MSPs. Then I got into the government realm, working in systems engineering and infrastructure. Ended my tenure at a county as a senior SE before jumping ship over to the sales side. So uh, just happy to be here and to, to meet you all. And Mike from the KIS side, um, if you wanna, if you wanna just introduce yourself quickly. Well, thank you, uh, Mike Florence, KIS. Uh, uh, as you may know, uh, KIS, uh, longtime um, uh, technology provider in the IT sector here in the Greater Northern California area. Uh, we we work for our customers, not necessarily for uh, the various uh, manufacturers that we represent. Although uh, we strongly recommend Arctic Wolf, um, uh, we focus on. Uh, the cloud, compute, um, networking, security, uh, storage, uh, and then have a very, very strong IT bench uh, to help make sure that uh, the products that we recommend, products and technology we recommend, will perform as advertised and give you the results that you deserve. Uh, and I'm proud to be here with Arctic Wolf. They've been a great, great partner. So uh, I'll take it away from there. Sweet, and just a rundown of the agenda, right? Um, we'll do we'll do a couple warm up trivia questions here. Um, yep. We if we yeah we're able to cool, and then yep. we'll talk about the state of cybersecurity in California, but also just um, globally, right? Um, and then I'm going to hand it over to Josh. He can talk about our delivery model and our security operations platform, how it works, and we'll we'll divvy out some cash prizes, and we'll be on our our jolly ways here. And, We'll, we'll give our contact information out at the end um, for all the everyone listening, you know, reach out to any of us um, if you want to um, have a deeper conversation or, or learn more about um, different aspects of the, the our service or the Arctic Wolf and KIS partnership. Um, so, Jane, if, if the trivia. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So we got yeah. a couple warm up questions here, not cybersecurity related. I thought it would be apropos to have some some Arctic wolf questions about the actual animal itself. That's correct. Can. Yes. And uh, we get warmed up a little bit. Correct. Let me just, uh, <laughs> just a second. So pull this window up. And so where do Arctic wolf live? Here are our choices please punch in um your answers into um pool that will um be launched in a few seconds go and you have 10 seconds to answer all right All right, answers are coming in. And uh, so we have 25 seconds um, right now. And what's the answer is B, North America, Arctic regions, of course. Thank you, applause, applause to everybody who um, correctly answered. And we can um, start and share, actually share the results. And a lot of people say we have uh, um, Arctic Wolf, uh, which everybody knows where they are from uh, main headquarters, which is very interesting to see that 33% know where they are, which is awesome. And um, let's uh, move on to a second question. What is an Arctic Wolf's um, top speed? And again, I have uh, 10 seconds to answer this. Is it? Is it A, 30, B, 
45, C 60, or D? And we have an answer 45 miles per hour. And let's see. And um, pretty good, pretty good results. We have 71% of uh, you guys said it correctly. All 45, right. 45 miles an hour. Man, that is fast. Yes, it is. That's very fast. Almost, All right. Almost as fast as a response from Arctic Wolf's uh, team. All right. There we go. Yeah. Like so um, go ahead, Zach. Uh, let's move on to um, yeah. our presentation. Absolutely. Good to get grease the wheels a little bit, get warmed up. Uh, <laughs> where did my. All right. So. Let's talk about the state of cybersecurity, specifically in California. But again, we're, we're going to address this globally and talk about the, the market as a whole. Um, so here's our view on, on set the cybersecurity industry. And this is really why we were founded as a company. 87% of security leaders believe they're falling short in addressing their cyber risk. And this is for a, a variety of reasons, right? There's nation states like China and Russia that are weaponizing operation centers to attack American small businesses. There's external forces, external pressure being put on IT teams, whether it's compliance reasons, cyber insurance, auditing coming up, customer requirements. Um, there's, there's a lot of pressure to harden your security posture from a lot of different forces. And security leaders, are, are their head spinning. They don't know where to turn. Um, you can invest in technologies and tools. There's over 3,000 vendors on the market today. The industry spend is projected to be 150 billion this year. Um, and the technologies and tools are great. They'll check a box, but it's really about the people and the processes behind those tools that make them effective. And that's why when Arctic Wolf, when we were founded 10 years ago, we viewed the industry as this, there's an effectiveness problem. These tools might identify an issue even, but is there a person there who's gonna respond and remediate that incident? Um, and so that's where we step in and you'll learn throughout the presentation today how we solve for that that main issue. So this is the this is the landscape. This is what you have to choose from. Right. Um, when you when you take a step back and you say, OK, where do I start to attempt um, to harden my security posture over time? Well, do I start with data security? Do I start with cloud security? Do I start with my network? Do I reach out to an MSSP? These all cover their individual slices of the of the pie, which makes up your environment. But I mean, it's it's overwhelming, right? And the competitive landscape in, in the security space from our end, it's it's really just, you know, you can start drowning if you if you don't really know where to turn. Um, so the expertise that we provide and the the technology that gives us a holistic view of your environment, we're able to work with and coexist with any uh, security investments you've previously made, right? So that gives us a holistic view um, into all aspects of your environment, not just one slice of the pie. So it can be overwhelming when you, when you start to take a step back and look at the industry as a whole. But um, our goal at Arctic Wolf is to, to provide you with some clarity um, as to your specific security journey and what's important to you, because there's a lot of different voices and a lot of different opinions on what's most important. Um, and now this, this next slide is going to be a breakdown of this is where we see our detections within our customer base. We have nearly 4,000 customers now. And when there's an incident, this, this is broken down in the, the percentage of where we identify that incident. And as you can see, there's no 50% on here. There's no 60%. Every, incidents can occur. Attacks can occur from a wide variety of of attack funnels, right? So we got 5% on the network, 10% on the endpoint. There's been this huge emphasis on endpoint lately and only 10% of the, the incidents that we detect actually come from the endpoint, 10% um, from Active Directory. The majority actually come from geolocation alerts as well as the humans in your environment, right? So people clicking on phishing attempts, business email compromise, social engineering via email. This is where we're seeing threats, but the point of really showing you guys this is that there's not one silver bullet um, tool that you can plug in and it's gonna, it's gonna solve all of your issues. You need people and processes behind technology to make them effective. And that's the Arctic Wolf approach. 
Um, and we'll, we'll touch on exactly how we do that in a couple minutes here. But before we completely dive in, I want to give some background on the industry right now and the evolving threat landscape. So these are some trends in the market that we're, we're seeing today. The internet of things, there's billions of physical devices around the globe that collect and share data, phones, laptops, um, you know, Apple watches, whatever it might be. And by 2025, it's projected that there's gonna be 41 billion total devices out there. Um, and who knows, that number could rise exponentially if new technologies, um, you know, hit the market and such. And only 7% of companies have a plan to address their expanding internet of things, especially as we move towards remote workforces, there's going to be more phones, more laptops, more offsite, um, basically threat vectors that cyber attackers can expose. And that's what they've been doing. There's a greater opportunity for cyber uh, attackers to get into businesses because of the growing internet of things. I um, mean, I touched on remote working. Um, there's an increase in vulnerabilities that come along with that. Um, it's projected that there's going to be 35 million remote workers by 2025 and 87%. That's an 87% increase from pre pandemic numbers. So 35 million remote workers, that is a, a huge number and something that it's a drastic change in a short time period. And so Again, a lot of opportunity for bad actors, but does your company, does your manufacturer have a plan in place to combat this growing threat landscape? And then finally, um, the, the most prevalent malware today is, is ransomware, right? The average request for a ransom is 200,000. Um, so these targeted ransomware attacks, the, the US government found that there's 4,000 ransomware attacks daily in America, and the ransom is, is high, right? And you, you can get million dollar payouts, um, and the average request is around 200,000. So that's just to show that, unfortunately, what these attackers are doing, it has been successful. And that's why, you know, in their minds, the opportunity is growing as, we, as, as the world kind of changes and evolves to a more remote um, off-site approach. Hey, Zach, uh, a question. Um, I know a lot of people out there have cyber insurance, and um, I think that as the number of incidences rise, the insurance carriers are starting to say, we're losing money, and they're starting to tighten their requirements to obtain cyber insurance. Can, can you speak to that at all? Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's one of the biggest reasons that people have been getting in touch with us recently. Um, I've seen over 300 percent increases a year to year just on one renewal. Right. It used to be a, a 10, que 10 question questionnaire on online that you could fill out and you're eligible for cyber insurance benefits. And yep. now it's a hundred page document that you might need a, like almost a cybersecurity lawyer to come in and help you out with because it's just overwhelming. Um, the amount of boxes that you need to check just to be covered for ransomware, right? They right. You might, your premiums might not rise, but they might drop ransomware coverage as a whole. And then the average request is 200,000. Then you're out a couple hundred thousand bucks if someone, someone does hit your environment. So um, at Arctic Wolf, we are able to check all the boxes that, that are required by these cyber insurance firms. And also we provide people that are dedicated to your environment. So it's not a tool that you plug in and, and it makes noise, right? Um, our people, our concierge security team, they're going to recommend strategic action to not only stay compliant with insurance requirements or anything else, but also to harden your security posture over time. So yeah, um, Mike, I'm glad you hit on that a little deeper because that is one of the biggest drivers, I guess you could say, of, of change in the industry today. Thank you. you. You explained that quite well. Thanks. And please, everybody, similar to Mike, like, jump in if you have questions or throw stuff in the chat. Um, I'm, let's, let's make this as conversational as possible. I know I'm kind of talking at everyone right now, but um, interrupt me. I won't hurt my feelings. And so some statistics specific to California. This just shows that um, how 
how big of a target is on the state. Um, according to the FBI, California is number one of the top 10 worst states based on dollar value in losses and also the number of victims. So 67,000 businesses last year or in 2021 and 1.2 billion um, lost. So it's just because of the prevalence of technology in California, because of the amount of startups and honestly, because of the security competitive landscape, right? There's so many cybersecurity startups and companies in California alone that it can be hard for you to, to pick and choose again, that one silver bullet. And you might choose a vendor that covers one slice of the pie, but it's important to holistically view your environment. So, you're, you've probably had these conversations internally. Maybe your leadership are asking, you know, what, what do we do? How do we protect ourselves? Well, we've alluded to it a couple of times. Um, compliance, cyber insurance audits, customer requirements. You know, these are requirements and boxes that you need to check to stay compliant. But you might also think, well, that will help me. That will, that will thwart off all bad actors. Well, the problem is who's going to manage the outcomes delivered by um, a SIM tool you might invest in or EDR? Again, they, they, they might send tickets to your email, your inbox, maybe 100 a day, maybe hundreds a week, whatever it might be. Well, who's going to sift through those and manage those? And that's, that's a big issue that a lot of Arctic Wolf customers um, ran into in the past. And that's why they, they've, they've come to us because they don't have the people and processes in place. Um, and the, your other option is maybe you can do it yourselves, right? DIY, build your own SIM, build your own SOC approach, hire security engineers. Well, that can get expensive really quick. And in San Francisco alone, the average base salary is around $161,000. Um, and the cost of Arctic Wolf, our licensing model is fixed. It's predictable. It's based on metrics like users, servers, cloud applications you have. We allow unlimited data ingestion. We don't charge based on events per second. We, we want to see everything that's happening in your environment. So um, compared to building out your own approach and the DIY, um, it's much more cost effective to go with a managed security provider like like Arctic Wolf. And you guys are on 24-7, 365. Absolutely. 24-7 coverage, broad visibility. That actually is a great um, lead into to the next portion here is why Arctic Wolf? Well, Zach, you're saying all these challenges, right? The industry's crazy. Well, wh why Arctic Wolf? What do you guys do that solves for these issues? Well, first, like Mike just said, 24 seven coverage. We have a team 500 strong of, we call triage engineers that monitor um, eyes on glass of your environment on a 24 by seven basis. And like I said, we're not just looking at one slice of the pie. We're not just an EDR or network provider. The Arctic Wolf platform allows us to ingest data from all aspects of your environment to give us broad visibility across your entire threat landscape. And then finally, probably the biggest, the core component of the Arctic Wolf services, the concierge security team. That's added security experts that are named to your business that understand your environment and the needs of, of your business to advance you along what we call your security journey. So that's a, a really high level overview. Josh is going to dive into the weeds and tell you exactly how it works right now. But just to give you some background on the industry, why we exist, our approach, why customers are choosing Arctic Wolf. Um, this, is, this is exactly it. And I believe we got a couple trivia questions. We can, we can go through them quickly um, related to, to what I just went over. That's correct. Uh, so these, so the first two questions were worth uh, 25. This one is worth of 25. So, and then the three and four basically the next, next two. Um, so let's start it. Uh, we have according, let me just share it. I'd like to share my screen. All righty. And we have, so according to a report by the US government, how many ransomware attacks happen in America? Daily. Uh, daily. All right. Let's see the answers. All right. We have a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, or four thousand. And let me just launch my poll question number three. All 
right. So let's just go. Music, you have 10 seconds. thousand people were listening yes yeah. four thousand that's right and uh, okay let's share results quickly while i'm sharing my screen sorry let's do the next one what is the average Seller of the security engineer in the Bay Area. Here you go. We have uh, 101, 131. Yeah. And let's change. question. What are you thinking? Go ahead and input your answers. 10 seconds. Wow, we have coming up answers. There you go. Good. Good, good, good. We have eight out of nine. Good. All right. Let's end it. And check it out, the results. The right question is C. We got a good 89% of people answered C correctly. That was fun. Thank you. All right, so as I've, as I've stated a couple of times, I'm gonna pass it off to Josh now and he's gonna tell you a little bit about how this works, right? How, how our approach works. Um, so Josh, go, go right ahead. All right, <clears throat> go ahead and click through that. If you wanna go next, we'll get into kind of a conversation about what we offer and kind of what is a differentiator. I know Zach mentioned it a couple of times that Truly, the human element is what differentiates us from others in the market. We all have good tools. We all have good R&D. We all have good engineering, um, a good background, artificial intelligence, machine learning, et cetera. But what we're bringing is a massive amount of expertise. As you can see on the right, we, um, we have engineers with essentially every certification in cybersecurity. We have um, four North American SOC locations in Provo, Utah, San Antonio, Texas, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and then Waterloo, Ontario, outside of Toronto. So there's actual people in seats watching your environment um, around the clock, 24 by 7, 365. Um, what I like to state, I mean, everyone has good tools, but um, what we're essentially doing for you is taking the cybersecurity lift off of your plate. We're gonna be ingesting your logs. We're gonna be um, combing through all of your alert messages, your telemetry, your log data, et cetera. I'm gonna get into kind of the back end in a moment, but that's the triage team in a nutshell is that they're the people watching your environment 24 by seven when there's going to be any kind of actionable event, they're gonna troubleshoot the event for you. Um, we are not an alert forwarding service. So we're gonna, um, run the issue to the ground, and then give you a step-by-step -step process to remediation. Um, that's the triage team in a nutshell. They're allowing you to enjoy your Thanksgiving or go to sleep and not be concerned about um, waking up for an event or a, you know, a false event, a false alarm, a false positive. We're only going to be contacting you when there's a true positive, a true indicator of compromise. Um, the other side of that coin is the concierge security team. So the concierge team is going to be two or sometimes three individuals who are named to the account. So they're going to be, we can't call them a full-time employee. We can't call them official headcount for your environment, but what they're doing every day is working with you in the trenches side by side to learn your environment. Um, you're going to have their cell phone number. You're going to have their email address. If you ever have any questions or concerns, 
you're going to be contacting your concierge team directly. You will never have to, well, in the middle of the night, you might have to call an 800 number and get someone from the triage team. But the, um, the concierge team is your direct liaison into Arctic Wolf. So you're not going to be logging into the website and utilizing a chat feature. You're not going to be calling an 800 number during the day um, if you have a question. The concierge team will also, you can click next if you want, Zach, we'll kind of keep this moving a little bit. Um, the concierge team also sits down with you for periodic reviews of the environment. We call it a spider, which is a security posture in-depth review. So whatever your cadence, whatever cadence you prefer, if you want it to be monthly, if you want it to be quarterly, if you want to have a weekly touch base with your concierge team, you can. They're going to sit down with you and have a conversation about what the current state of the environment is, um, what we need to do going forward to harden your security posture, and um, assist you on what we call the security journey. We're going to help you along every month, every quarter, every year to harden your security posture against threats, both external and internal. Um, another part of the concierge model that I like to chat about, because I came from a background where I was on the other end of these calls. So, I mean, I've had implementations of a backup software where we we purchased like eight hours of um, setup time and engineering time, and then we're out of luck. So we had it, you know, 10% configured in our environment, and then we have to buy more time to get it fully ramped up and set up. Um, so I'd like to touch base a little bit on our onboarding process. When you elect to go with um, Arctic Wolf for our MDR, our managed risk or our um, managed awareness offerings, you will have a project manager and a project engineer assigned to your um, onboarding process. So we'll give you 30 days of onboarding at your cadence. We've had people up and running within four or five days. If there's an incident, other people want to take more time and they might drag it out, but it's kind of at your cadence with um, with an engineer and a manager assigned to the onboarding process. You can click ahead, Zach. You can build this out. So essentially what we're doing, we're gathering data from your entire environment. Um, we're looking at network, we're looking at endpoint, we're looking at everything in the cloud, we're looking at the human element, um, ad like identity management, everything you have, we're ingesting all of that data um, centralizing it within our platform. So our platform in AWS is our fully managed cloud-based SIM. So we are doing all the troubleshooting for you. We're analyzing all of the events. And again, only bringing to you um, any incident that is actionable, again, with a punch list of what needs to be done to remediate. Um, after the, um, the smoke clears and the dust settles, you would then have a conversation with your concierge team about um, what needs to be done going forward uh, for like a from like a mitigation standpoint, like how to prevent this from happening again, how the bad guy got in, like open ports, did they click on something they should have? We'll give you a whole step-by-step -step process with a debrief that can include your management or C-suite, um, whomever you want to have um, on those calls as we, um, again, work towards hardening the security posture and um, working on that security journey. So I'll touch a little bit on our three core offerings. We do have the managed detection and response on the far left, managed risk, which is going to be replacing um, something like tenable um, vulnerability scanning. So we do vulnerability scanning internal, external, and host-based, and then everything in the cloud as well. Um, and then near the right, it says managed security awareness. That's going to be our offering that would replace something like a uh, no before um, security awareness training and phishing simulations. You can click ahead. I kind of want to just kind of get into the, the back end and do kind of a run through of how we gather data, what the triage team looks like, and again, the concierge team. So as I mentioned, we're going to be ingesting all the data 
from your environment. We do have a physical on-prem sensor that we would work with you to configure and get it IP'd and shipped out to you. It's a hardened Linux appliance that would be installed between your firewall and network stack. It does give us a lot of good um, network telemetry, north and south data. We generate um, network flow data via IP fix. We're, we're going to be an intrusion detection system. We also act as a syslog target. So we're going to be gathering everything from Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, um, TLS. Like we're going to be gathering firewall logs as well. I mean, anything that you can send to us, we want to analyze. Um, Zach mentioned earlier, there's no, there's no um, limit to log size or events per second because we want to see the entire environment. Similar in the middle there, we do have cloud connector um, integrations via API to everything that you have in the cloud. We integrate very well with AWS since our fully managed cloud-based SIM has been built out in AWS, as well as Azure, O365, um, the G Suite. We also work well with all of the um, multi-factor authentication protocols with Duo and Okta and Azure um, Authenticator, Google Auth, uh, that type of stuff, as well as all of the EDR and antivirus solutions. We do recommend that you would keep an EDR AV solution in place because they do give us a lot of good data and telemetry for us to comb through and look for true indicators of compromise. But we do also have our, our own proprietary um, agent called, simply enough, the Arctic Wolf agent, which works in tandem with your EDR and AV solution, giving us a lot of good asset information, inventory, and catalog of what you have in the environment. Um, we can see currently running processes, security event logs, um, critical patches that need to be applied, et cetera. Um, we also have the ability to contain a device via our agent. So um, say there's rogue activity on an end user machine at two o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday, we have the ability to get that offline. They wouldn't need to be on your corporate LAN or VPN in. We have a, a direct viewpoint via AWS. If it were a production server, obviously we'd be waking everyone up, but if it's a end user machine, we can take that offline for you to remediate and then contact you for next steps. Between the three uh, points of data collection, we have a huge amount of data that's being sent up to our threat intelligence feeds where the data is ingested, parsed and analyzed 1.4 trillion observations a day are sent to Amazon. Um, anything that anything that's fluff, you know, false positives, that's going to be eliminated. And then anything that is a potential issue would hit the triage board in real time. Again, the four SOC locations in North America where they would go through an escalation path through an analyst level one, level two. If they think it's a true positive, they would escalate to an engineer for a more thorough investigation. And then if it is a true threat, we would at that point ticket you. So we wouldn't, again, like I mentioned, we're not going to forward alerts. We're not going to make, create a numbered ticket, email you and say, there might be an issue, go figure it out. We're going to bring you a step-by-step -step process to remediation. It averages about one to two tickets per week um, per customer. And then in the interest of time, I can kind of wrap it up. But after the issue is resolved with our triage team, um, you would then have the conversation again with your concierge team about what needs to be done going forward, how the bad guy got in, what IPs were affected, what software, what, what hardware, what users, et cetera. So again, you'd have that rundown with them and the conversation about uh, preventing this from happening going forward. So that's kind of the back end. Um, if there are any questions, we can certainly hop on another call. Um, we can also show you the our dashboards, our portals on a Another call too, but I think we're kind of running out of time. So I'm gonna yeah, pass it before on. we before we get to the last question here, screenshot this if you want our contact info. Right, this is me, Josh, and Mike. Um, I'm happy to take a call from from anyone in attendance today. If you want to call me this afternoon or send me an email, whether it's just a, a one off question or if you guys want to sit down and have a deeper discussion, happy to do so. Um, Mike as well, obviously. K asked doesn't only work with Arctic Wolf. So if you have other IT or networking questions, um, direct them to Mike and he'll, he'll probably be able to help you out. Um, so anyways, just wanted to put this out there. I'll leave it up for a couple more seconds. Screenshot it if you want our information. 
Um, but we do have some last questions. I know we, we got one go minute. On, before you yep. go any farther, um, if it's okay with you, we have a person on this call by the name of Nick Zanato, who has actually been an Arctic wolf user for a while. And I'd like to reach out to Nick if he's okay with this. No and pressure. No pressure. <laughs> um, Nick, if you wouldn't mind letting him know your experience that you've had over the last few years, I would sure. greatly appreciate it. I'm sure you could have a call with Yeah, I mean, um, so I so, so I actually moved over from a different vendor um, to to Arctic Wolf, and ever since then it's been phenomenal. I mean, it's been so much better than my experience, and I've actually researched quite a bit other vendors as well. Every year, I always research to see what's out. Um, the concierge uh, support's been great. Uh, the the technical knowledge on the back end's been great. Um, yeah, really easy to use. You know, the uh, the the ticketing system that gets are the tickets that get made when, when there there is an incident um it's been great as well just as far as following up with the, with the tech so very it was very easy to operate after the setup the setup's a little bit you know it's a little bit bulky but there is a lot of help um once that happens you know there's nothing really yet you have to worry about um one thing i'm waiting for though is that last level of you know, you help with the remediation, right? That last part to actually, you know, work with us and do more of the remediation part of it. You know what I mean? That last step, if you're like a one IT person guy, you know, um, so that's, but other than that, it's been great. And I used to use the managed uh, risk as well. Um, and then I've, I looked at the, you guys do some training too, like staff training. Um, security so, awareness. Yeah. Security awareness, yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I looked at that and th that looked to be a pr pretty good offering as well. Well, I very much appreciate you jumping in and, and giving your testimony there, Nick. Um, yeah, the, the one piece I want to respond to is that we don't remote in, we don't do boots on the ground, right? Because it's a security risk in itself if 500 of our triage, triage engineers um, have admin access. So that's why we, we deliver that remediation plan more or less on a silver platter um, and walk with you, work with you over the phone to, to put it in place. So you, our customers press the button, right? But we deliver the plan. So, um, but really, really great stuff, Nick. Thanks for jumping in. Um, should we wrap up our trivia contest? I know we got our big money questions here, Jane. So. Yes, yes. We, um, so the question number five is worth um, $25. And the uh, and then the last two question are worth of fifty bucks. So let's do this. Um, our next question is true or false. True or false? Correct. Arctic Wolf can uh, replace um, S I E M vulnerability assessment and risk management and security awareness training and punishing simulation solution is it a true or false okay, let's uh, get 10 seconds time down all righty let's check Results. check if it was true good job congratulations yay so let's do the next one and that is worth of 50 bucks what key capabilities are delivered through arctic wolves and dr security service please select all that apply basically we'll just select the ones that apply uh and howl of course uh, let's check and this out. is this is for 50 dollars correct Yes, this is a $50 question. We have a concert security team, industry detection system, security information event management, and or all of the above. 10 seconds. Alrighty, and the 
correct answer is D, all of the above. And 100% people got it. That's great, great news. <laughs> they can listen and pay attention. <laughs> great. So let's do the next one. Last one. Send, yes, perfect. Last one. Here we go. What major components of customer attack surface? Does article monitor through our MDR security service? Is it network, endpoint, cloud, or all of the above? And let's get 10 seconds on this. Free money. Yes, free money. And of course, we got all the above. Uh, yes, D, number D. Okay, thank you. That's great, great news. A lot of people did a great job on this. So as a recap, we're going to share the um, res um, results of the trivia game winners um, on our follow-up email, uh, along with the um, presentation slides. And uh, if you like to re um, uh, we watch the uh, video. Um, there will be a link provided as well. Any last minute questions? Mm, nope. All right, then. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Yes, thanks everybody for uh, uh, sharing your day with us. We appreciate it. Yeah, greatly appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you, KAS, for helping us put this together. Um, and again, just reach out to us if you want to have a follow-up conversation or have a one-off question. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Zach, Josh, for our mic, for presenting. Great, great job. Great, interesting um, to learn about new items that comes out from Arctic Wolf. Thank you. All right. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Thanks, all.